all right now you'll be watching part two of this video links are put down below okay of part one and part two uh, this is really an incident that i felt there was a lot of learning lot of learning uh, which is why i'm sharing with you it might sound very ordinary but seriously uh, do watch it i'm telling you you will have something to say and uh, one last thing request to my members you know who these guys are please don't reveal the identity because it's not nice having said that watch the video let me know your thoughts let's start uh okay so now uh, i told you know whatsapp groups and i allowed my whatsapp group anyone can join in and uh, we got now 300 plus members so these there were these three particular boys who joined very decent uh i mean well mannered one was a christian two were muslims okay and uh, somehow something i don't know how the discussion went forward but then they started to discuss about religion religion and god and uh, well obviously everyone has an opinion right and uh, the thing is in my groups most of them are critical thinkers they like to reason out they like to get evidence they ask for proof they question a lot so obviously this christian guy was jesus is real the bible is real okay the muslim guys were like allah is real islam is true religion so it was a interesting one and uh, i think uh, i was in that frame of mind oh okay i'll also be entertained but uh, you know how addictive social media is instead of being entertained i also got involved which i shouldn't have and i started wasting my time which i always say not to you see how addictive conversations are and uh, obviously i wanted to know whom am i chatting with it's good to know the profile these were 20 year olds yeah and they were saying god is real and god so i would ask simple question like show me the evidence simple and you know how what answers people give long drawn out string of words put in some scientific sounding terms weave together a list of phrases like the quantum mechanics of the parallel universe in the fourth dimension uh, if you actually look at a protonic level all that bullshit people would give long sounding words to justify their stance that is how religious people do like if you ask them show me evidence of god or yeah, can you show me evidence of uh, time how do you know time exist can you see time how do you know life exist can you make life so they'll never answer the question they'll give you some more words and i just simply told them show me the evidence of god exist proof show me now no but uh, okay so i also another idiot i was wasting my time but then obviously i have my customers and clients right okay so somehow i got busy with my work and uh, next thing i know when i checked back in now remember i wasted my time also i think i'd wasted i think 4 hours or something chatting 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 yeah you know i'll tell you really i was so i really regretted wasting yesterday's day really truly i regret it okay maybe the only good thing that came out was this content so i was like ah and i i think 6 hours almost 6 hours wasting chatting talking which i always tell you not to do okay so obviously i had vip clients and all that and you know you can't talk to a vip client and chat and all that so i switched off and i focused on my client and my work after 2 3 hours you know obviously check the whatsapp group again to my horror i think more than 2000 messages 
more than 2,000 had, you know, gone ever since I left. 2,000. And I was like, okay, where the fuck is it? You know, it, it took, literally took, I think, two, three minutes for the first time ever on my WhatsApp. It took two, three minutes to load the messages. That much these guys had been chatting. And who were chatting? Just these three guys. These three guys with all our 300 plus members. God, Allah, Jesus, God, Allah, Jesus, and this and time. And you know, a 20 year old, uh, what scientific uh, uh, knowledge he has. They will just copy paste from the internet. You know, explain to me time and space. Give me the dimensions between the thing. Why is there a variable this thing? Give me the mathematical calculations of quantum physics and blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now you must be wondering, what has this got to do with anything? I'll, I'll tell you. The, the twist will come towards the end. You'll be like, oh, bloody hell. Okay. I immediately realized, fuck. The group that I created, which was for, you know, worthwhile content, sharing great ideas or having worthwhile conversations, it has become this mud fest, this sewage of my God is real. It's like my, my dick is bigger than yours. You know, that kind of conversation. My God is real. Your God is not. Ha ha ha. Atheism is a religion. If And members were actually leaving. There were some senior people also who joined expecting something worthwhile. They started leaving. And I was like, man, I need to stop this. Need to ensure damage control before this group becomes a shit fest. And imagine these 20 year olds are so sure about God. 20 year olds, college students. And I think one was 30. They are so sure about God. Anyone who is above 50 or 60 who has life experience, they are laughing at them. Okay. I was like, man, I need to make a decision. And immediately, almost immediately, I decided to take charge. I removed these three guys. Okay. I didn't talk to them, nothing. Just removed them, blocked them, banned them. Okay. And, okay. And uh, obviously, there were some others who were, there were some real nice guys. But just imagine introducing yourself for the first time in a very decent way. Hi, sir, how are you? You know, oh, Mr. Loy, oh, Loy, admirer of your content. And you can see them with a the suit and family or looking smart. And, and the next question after adding them, imagine first time meeting, hey, uh, can you add me to your porn group? I really want uh, to explore the, I removed all of them, all these idiots. You're, 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 you're saying hi for the first time. I admire your work. An Indian, I admire your work. I respect you. Can I join your porn group? You know, common sense like this is not common. No? Okay, removed all of them and I block them. I, I do, I'm not interested to talk to you. I don't give a fuck whether you want to be my client or so fuck off. Okay. So I removed all these guys. But the second I removed this particular young guy, who I'll not specify who, immediately he said, like, uh, can I have a, can I book a call with you? So I thought he was trying to, you know, act pally because he wants to get back into my group. So I said, you make the payment. Here's my website. Then we'll talk. To my surprise, he actually made the payment immediately. I was like, oh, okay. Maybe he really wants to join the group bad. So, but for me, once you get removed, unless you have a real good reason, I'm not going to add you back, even if you pay cash. I've had people, I'll pay $500 to join the porn group. I'm not, what nonsense you're talking here. Uh, you, you can get free porn online. What, what the fuck do you want? $500 to join a porn group. There's some people who are really addicts to this shit. You can get free online. Just use a, I don't know, even cognito mode if you're so insecure type porn, you'll get all the sites. Free. Okay. So, he came up. Honest looking guy. I asked him, aren't you going to sleep? Uh, and he told me the time difference. Okay. He was, he was not uh, staying in India. And then, as we started to talk, I found this guy a 
humble, simple, nice chap. Okay, a nice guy. Talented, smart. He had a deep story about him. So I listened to all of this. And then obviously he asked me advice and guidance on certain specific areas, which I want to keep confidential. Okay, I guided him and he thanked me for it. But then I told him, wait, you paid me for a coaching session, right? Okay, I'm going to share something which I feel will help you. So listen carefully. He was like, yeah, sure, sir. Okay. And then I brought him to the incident where I threw him out of the group. And he's like, ah, no, I understand, sir. I, I felt bad. I must have crossed the line. I must have said something. I said, no, I'll tell you what exactly you did. He's like, fine. Okay, sir, I'm listening. And I started to tell him about the fact that he is a young man, very young man, still studying. Thankfully, his parents can support him. How he, despite being such a nice young man, he pissed off all the members in the group, spamming the group, talking crap, utter fucking crap. You don't have any life experiences, zero. You have zero work experiences. You have zero relationship experiences. You do not even know how to draft your resume. And here you are preaching to the masses, to a world uh, WhatsApp community filled with 300 plus members who have seen life, who have families, who are mature, who run successful businesses, whose net worth is even greater than uh, most upper middle class people. You're lecturing them on God using pseudo-scientific terms and then uh, discipline that is totally not yours. Uh, the quantum realm and what? Space and time and the mathematical formula for just to convince people on God. I said, I said, people, if I feel strongly, I will talk. I said, just let me complete. And he continued to interrupt me more than four or five times as I was giving advice. And finally, I had to tell him, this is one more habit. You don't know when to shut up. I say, no, sir, this is my natural way. This is how I normally am. I said, if your normal tendency is to put your finger up your ass, okay, and then sniff it. If that is your normal natural tendency, can you do it publicly? He said, no, sir. I said, if your normal natural tendency is, uh, you know, you feel sexually turned on when you see women and masturbate, can you go around in public and do that? Oh, no, sir. So stop giving bullshit excuses. You know how to behave publicly. You'll not do anything weird. How are you justifying, this is who I normally and naturally am? Saying, no, sir, where it comes to God and the truth, I will stand. I said, what experience do you fucking have about God and the truth? You're hardly, you have hardly stepped out of your parents' shadow. What do you know about God? Have you seen him? Have you communicated with him? Do you have any, any freaking evidence, video or photograph? No, sir, I, I feel it. I said, see, boss, you let me complete. Don't give me your lecturing and your bullshit. Listen, I'm your well-wisher, you paid me, listen. So finally I had to shut up and in between I had to a again stop him because I told him, see, this is your problem. You're not listening to learn. You're listening to give a smart answer. You're listening to conjure up which sentence can I take and here I'm going to talk. I said, you, with all your talent, you will make people hate you. People don't want a smart ass. They don't want to know it all. They don't want a guy who is just out there. I'm right, you're wrong. I said, how will you succeed in your career? How will you even get employed? If people realize you're just a pain in the ass, man. You're not at all likable, not at all likable. I said, in the few minutes or a few hours that you are in my group, you made every single person hate you. And I even told him, after I removed you, so many people send me private messages and public messages, thank you so much. People who are now not even taking part, they'll thank you so much. They were just 
destroying the dynamics of this group. I said, you became a toxic phenomenon, a toxic catalyst that everyone hated. I said, imagine if you could do this in a few hours in a group. Imagine the damage you can do in your career, personal and professional life. To which he finally, I think, had a moment of clarity and kept quiet. And then again, he interrupted and said, so I think that is why I don't have friends and that is why people don't like me. And I was like, oh, yes. I said, if you're, if you're hardly in your 20s and you're already going on a crusade to, you know, tell people I am right, you are wrong. And you're not having a student mentality. You're not ready. Even listening, you don't even have skills to listen. You're pissing people off by reading some Google shit. And, uh, you know, you can be the most talented guy, the guy with the best skill. But if you're not likable, nobody's going to fucking entertain you, man. And again, he interrupted by saying, but sir, if I believe something, I said, boss, nobody gives a fuck what you believe. Uh, then he again went on, sir, but if I kiss ass, then, you know, I'm not like that. I said, boss, you need to kiss ass to survive in today's world. You can't be, I'm going to, you know, put your nose up in the air. I'm special. I'm going to uh, earn through merit. I said, all of them will gang up together, like how they did in my group. And they will say, we want this guy out. You know, what was, just, just imagine. And I said, the only reason I'm talking to you right now is because you paid me as a client and I'm giving you advice, which any, again, you're not listening. You're arguing, you're trying to convince and justify your stupidity where I'm guiding you. And most important of all, you have zero, zero track record in real life, but you have one million uh, kind of, I don't know, virtual experience where you are correcting me and advising me even after you paying me. He just kept quiet. And then obviously he started to open up more and tell me about some of the problems and challenges he had. See, why am I sharing this? Why exactly am I sharing this incident? It is because, you know, you can, you can have all the talent in the world, all the skill, all the expertise. But if people don't like you, man, if you're not likable, if you're not humble, if you're not having, like, I will... You know, he's like my teacher. He can be someone I learn from. People will tell you, fuck off, yeah. Like, you know, I get these youngsters who tell me, hey, Loy, hey, how are you doing, bro? Hey, dude. And uh, one, one guy even sent me this big sermon. Imagine his first introduction. Hey, I just want to tell you that I'm not like these normal Indians. I am a fifth, uh, what? Fifth year medical, this thing, going to be a doctor. Uh, I'm going to earn, going to earn six figure to six figure salary, I'm planning seven figure. Uh, but that's besides the point. I just want you to know that I'm not going to call you sir. I believe you and I are equal. I'll call you by my name. You call me by my name. And uh, what? Um, this is the slave mentality Indians have. I'm not like this typical Indian. And also just to let you, just as you're a coach and mentor, I mentor and coach many people uh, towards excellence and blah, blah, blah. So if you are, he's telling me, if you can, if you're in agreement of my terms and conditions, I believe I can add a lot of value to your group. Let me know if you're interested. I showed him my interest. I blocked him. I mean, you have this arrogance, ignorance. I mean, do you even know who the fuck is in my group? It's not that I go around asking, hey, call me, sir, I'm His Highness. I've told you, my elders, my mentors, even my aunt, my uncle, I say auntie, uncle, uh, my, my wife's mother, I call her mummy. She is uh, a villager. She doesn't even know how to operate a, a smartphone, just knows yes, no calls, and she's a farmer. I give her the respect as if I'm talking to a bloody CEO of a company. I mean, come on, guys. It's so sad. I'll, I'll tell you. I... Ah, okay, okay. Yes. You keep there? Yes. Okay. So, this is my delivery guy. So, 
No, see, the point I'm trying to make here is the... Because I, he booked a session, I was able to understand this boy has talent, he has skill, he's a nice boy, a nice young man who can achieve so many things in life. But he is just fucking it all away by this attitude. An attitude where he knows everything, he knows God out of all the complications in life, all the puzzles, the mystery. And there's nothing he does not know. He never even once said, I don't know. Everything was, if you ask him, like when I would ask him, show me the evidence for God. Show me. You know, okay, let me answer this by stating, do you know the mathematical calculation of time with space? Do you know, how do you know the time and space? Come on, man. You're fucking 20. Or you're, you know, whatever. I've lived twice your life. And more. I mean, what are you advising me? What are you lecturing me? And he's even telling the day you find God, you know, there was that other Muslim guy. The day you find God, you'll be humbled. You will know, you'll come to him. Boss, you're all fucking kids here. No, in a doggy. Nobody wants to be lectured here. Nobody wants to be lectured. I told him, see, listen, if you don't change, you're going to regret. Your career is not going to move forward. I told him, point blank, whether you want to take my advice or not, you paid me money. I'm telling you, your career will not go forward. You will be, people will keep away from you. Nobody will follow you. Nobody will like you. I said, between you and me, you're more qualified. You're more educated. You're smarter. I don't have a you know, degree. I don't have a diploma. I don't have a, all these impressive credentials. I don't have rich parents. I don't have anything. But I have a following. And to have following, you need to be likable. You need to have people who admire you. You need to have people who will follow you. But if people don't like you, people don't follow you, people don't look up to you, you can have all the talent, skill, people are going to say, fuck off, man. I have nothing got to do with you. <laughs> it's really tragic, yeah. Tragic that with all the talent and skill in the world, end of the day, people, they don't know basic, you know, basic skills of human interaction, human engagement. They just don't know. They're just so ignorant where emotions, feelings, they don't know how to deal with people. Today's social media generation are experts, experts, PhD online, real life, zero skills, zero. In the few minutes or hours he was there, he made my entire group so fucking toxic. All those chaps who are talking of religion, Islam, and Christianity, all of them thanked me, but this is the first time, huh? they thanked me for throwing these guys out. Even religious chaps, they were like, uh, imagine people who follow religion, they're like, I was sick and tired of this nonsense. I mean, I'm a devout Muslim. I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, you know, shut up, man. Imagine, I, I told you, you know, it took almost like close to five minutes to upload all the messages. That much time, effort, energy they were. Like until their face became blue, they wanted to convince the world on their expertise, on God. <laughs> yeah, join some other fucking group. Yeah. Anyway, this is what I wanted to share. It's so tragic that someone who's a nice person, a genuine person, I spoke to him, no? Nice guy, genuine guy, good guy. Yes, fucked up his. Imagine there were contacts and connections he could have interacted and engaged with. Instead, shot himself in the foot. Now back to being alone. Yeah. What do you say? Anyway, this is what I wanted to share with you guys. You guys let me know, what do you think? Agree, disagree? I mean, what do you do with this generation here? Seriously, what do you do? It's really sad. The only skills they have is chatting and being smart asses online. 
and justifying their stupidity. Real world, zero skills. Hmm. Anyway, this is what I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Agree, disagree. Love to hear from you. You guys take care. All right.